Hi everybody and welcome to a new Redstone video. So today I want to show you an updated version of a water removing machine. This is useful if you have a large body of water that needs to be removed and would save you a lot of time. So doing this manually with sponges and sand easily takes you several hours, but if you're quick you can build this up here in under one hour. So let's start the whole machine. Just need to remove that sign and the attached banners. So this machine moves down one layer on each side and the whole here yeah, part that pushes down this flying machine moves down twice per side. Okay, so in between machine removes all the water. Now I need to wait until it arrives the other side. It's basically the same, just mirrored. As you can see this does a great job. Very few water updates. It's not really really laggy, so this shouldn't be a problem even on a server. Okay, now let's see the other side. So here this observer updates this piston, which sends up the sand block, which starts the reaction. And it's getting pushed down again. And this is powered a second time. So the design I use here uh, was shown to me by Talk Johnny, so all credit goes to him. And yeah, let's do a quick time lapse to see this machine finishing. Okay, so the machine is almost finished goes down one more time, but then of course the slime blocks uh, would stick to the glass box below and it leaves out the last layer. But I guess it's easy to remove, just need a few sponges to take care of the last layer. Or if it's really a huge area, you could also build up a small flying machine again. What makes this design so great is the fact that it's a titleable design. So if you don't feel comfortable building a huge machine, you could start with a small slice at first. So they're all eight wide in total and you could run the first machine. And yeah, this would run individually or separately from the others. You could also start I don't know, this one next and then this one so they don't influence each, each other and it still work. Right, so you can build this up in the middle of the ocean. You don't need a wall on the side even, but you need an enclosure on both ends. So I built up the pattern here. So place those blocks above the water and then fill it up with sand. So just keep placing sand against those blocks until they're completely filled up. This is an exception here, so I need to place leaf blocks under this one here. And here again, place sand blocks like this. Right, so fill up this side here. Also put down a whole column of leaf blocks under it. And it doesn't really have to be leaf blocks. You could also use any other block uh, that uh, slime blocks don't grab. For example, glazed terracotta or something similar. All right, so then we also have to do it on the other side. So this block, which is sticking out, is also in line um, with this block. And it looks like this. So one block, then three. Again, the leaf blocks that you have to place all the way down. And then there's a little bit in the back and another one in the front. Okay, so this side sticking out of the water, one block is intended. This one can be even with the water level. Okay, so now we need to build up those return stations. So on top of the leaves, we place three blocks. Those are just scaffolding blocks and one over, and then a downwards facing normal piston, like this. Then we need to grab some slam blocks, build them up like this on this side, and then one, two, three more. And then another one here. And here place another downwards facing piston. And now we need an observer that powers this slam block here. Go to place it like this. Now grab a redstone block and put it right here. Then we need a downwards facing piston here and then attach four more slime blocks on the side. Then also yeah, can go down by one and place two normal blocks and a slime block. Remove this one again. It is just any block that can be powered. Then we need a stick piston facing upwards here. Another stick piston here on the side of the slime block. Then grab a sand or gravel block right here. And then we just need to add another redstone block here and there. And another downwards facing piston like this. Okay, so on the other side you need to do exactly the same. So we need to pull up three blocks, go one over. And I'll just do this a little bit faster, but it's exactly the same. So if this is too fast for you, just go back in the video and watch it again. Server, so, uh, redstone block. 
One, two, three, four. Down. Mono block. Sticky, sticky. Sand, redstone, and piston. Okay, so this side being one block lower is intended in case you're confused. So the next step is we need to build the flying machine. So we take this sticky piston here of the yeah, higher return station as an orientation. Then we just go over two blocks and place an upwards facing observer right here and a downwards facing observer there. Slam blocks on the side like this. And then also add some yeah, boundary blocks here on the side. Any block really that can be pushed. Also we need a sticky piston like this and one facing to the other side. Three more slime blocks and again here we need an upwards facing piston and a downwards facing piston on the other side. Um, so in order to prevent this piston from extending I quickly place a non movable block here and then I place the downwards facing piston and I can remove this obsidian block again. Could also use a furnace instead of the obsidian of course and also yeah, boundary blocks here on the side. Then your flying machine is already done. Alright, so in order to start the machine, you just grab a flint and steel and activate this observer right here, which is far away from the return station. Okay, as you can see, this goes down, pushes the whole flying machine down and activates it once more. It goes down two layers in total. So check the other side. And this works fine. And as you can see, it's no problem at all that you don't have a have wall on this side here. Machine also works. All right. So I hope this is useful for you. Thanks again to Tuk Johnny for showing me this design. Have a nice day. Bye bye.